Singapore's 42-year-old Assisi Hospice will be redeveloped as part of national plans to expand and train the professional pool for the palliative care sector. Speaking at the hospice's charity dinner this evening, Health Minister Gan Kim Yong said with longer life expectancy and a rise in chronic diseases, the medical care which people need at the end of life will change significantly. More from Evelyn Chu. The Assisi Hospice has been offering compassionate and holistic care for its patients over the past four decades. And by end 2014, the new purpose-built wing will be housed here, just adjacent to the current complex at Thompson Road. There are some features that we want to bring into the hospice that affirms life. For example, uh, family rooms for families to stay on with their loved ones during this difficult time of their lives, as well as common dining rooms where patients and families can share a meal together. We hope that it will more than double the capacity. And what does that mean? It means more beds and uh, more physical facilities for training of both families as well as professionals. The hospice's model of care comprises of an inpatient service, a home care service and a daycare centre to meet the needs of its patients and their family members. Now with operating expenses coming up to about $7 million this financial year, it's hoping to raise about 60% of this amount at its annual charity dinner. Palliative care is one area that the health ministry is focusing on under its primary health care master plan. While the palliative care sector has historically Focus on patients with advanced cancer, there is increasing recognition that patients with non-cancer conditions can also benefit from palliative care. Hence, we need to continuously modify our care model in order to respond to the changing disease profiles and tackle new sets of medical complexities and challenges going forward. This includes adding more professionals to the sector. The number of nurses trained in palliative care has gone up by 14% over the past year. Mr. Gan also noted that death is still a taboo topic, with families of patients deeming end-of-life care as futile. He says his ministry will continue to work with the community to correct this misconception. Singapore currently has seven inpatient and home hospice providers. They serve about 5,000 palliative care patients every year.